Hey guys, Alex Hutchings here, and uh, we're live in uh, Vega, Copenhagen, uh, on the Stephen Wilson tour. I'm just going to show you my rig, if that's cool. Firstly, my brand new sexy guitar. Let's look at the guitars. We've, I've got a Fender Strat here, my other custom guitars here, built by Tom Wackhorn in the UK. And the control station here, this uh, wonderful board uh, that the guys at um, Boss UK helped me build, uh, Jay and Matt. So thanks to those guys. <laughs> The main hub of this is the ESA, okay? I've got all my different sounds uh, along the back here, but this really controls everything. Um, the awesome thing is it can also control the amp. I've got amp control on there, so I can change um, from the clean channel to the drive channel um, and a boost on different channels and the reverb on and off as well, all from a TRS cable, which is controlled from here. The rest, you can see I've got the, uh, the 500 series here, the, uh, the reverb delay and the modulation. They're all midied up, which means when I patch change, you see that all of them can change um, at any given moment as well, which is really cool. Got the volume pedal, expression pedal as well. So, uh, okay, on one of the tracks I'm playing, really simple and subtle, I've got like a, a bit of a Leslie sort of sound from the MD500. And then later on in the song, I've got kind of like a shoegazer with lots of uh, delays and reverbs, which is really cool. So let me just show you how you can switch between those. So here's like a basic tone. As I kick in the, the pedal, it's... Okay, so I go from that to a rather extreme sound in one hit, change plectrum, get that kind of shoegazery sound. So like a massive crescendo to the song, that's pretty cool. And that's all the three pedals on at the same time. There's another cool pedal in here, which I love, is the, uh, the JB2. This is uh, really cool because you've got that angry uh, Charlie pedal in there, plus the blues driver, and I use both of them quite a lot, actually, on this gig. I use the, uh, the blues driver to just boost certain things and to add a bit of uh, depth to the sound. Um, on this track, I play a solo with the, uh, the JB2 into the clean of the amp, so I'll just quickly show you that. Um, so the JB2 being here you'll notice as i change patch it changes color and that's because the es8 has a control uh, cable going into the side so per song i can i can assign that to come on and off so in the manual mode here you'll see that uh, pedal two is the jb2 okay so that's on in in the blue mode or the the blues driver mode for the, the basic riff of this song, which uh, is just like this. Then when I go to the solo, it's, um, it kicks the, the JB2 in uh, the Angry Charlie mode like this. So nice, smooth kind of solo, solo patch on that one. Check this one out. I'm using um, the DM2W and the expression pedal. This gets a bit wacky. So if I just go like a... So 
I do some crazy stuff in there as well. The other thing is I've got this wired up in four cable methods. So sometimes I like to put the delay uh, through the amp uh, effects loop. So if I'm using the crunch from the amp to get that kind of, uh, you know, big metal sound, I can do that and have the delays in the effects loop. But sometimes if I want to run the delay in the front, I can also do that. So one of the solos, Steve has me play the delay in the front. Um, and that sounds like this. So it sounds more gritty and messy in a way, you know? So. All right, guys, well, uh, there's just a real short introduction to uh, some of the stuff, but I hope to see you on the road. Come out, say hi, and hear this stuff in action properly. See you in a bit. <laughs>